to call. Francis says he has a little bit of problem talking because a lot of times he stutters a bit. Well, his wife don't. <laughs> So I'm just going to ask you just to share a few words with us. Gladys, who's today? Well, I can't tell about it. I'm going to take off a year. Let me tell about it. But I want to thank Jesus Christ for saving my soul, filling me with the Holy Spirit, and baptizing me through water, and keeping my marriage together. I should be married now 37 years, and I only know 19 good years. The rest was hell on earth. I went through a lot in my life, but I felt like I was just born down here and this man who was all about it. But you got to go through it to realize what Jesus Christ could do in your life and how he can turn your life around. I had two girls, one of them had to walk out and I she couldn't take it. But she told me, she might be outside listening, but when the time is right, Jesus is going to bring her in. The same way she brought me in and brought Jean and my husband. And I have another girl, she's not saved, and Jesus is going to bring her in. And I have a boy that's 19 years old, and he's saved now, and I thank God for him. He's not even supposed to be born, but he is, and he's a normal boy. So, got a little bit in the story. But well, with Francis, I've been married 37 years. And like I said, I was, I'm on stage, I was to hell. Mm -hmm. I'm back. Mm -hmm. But I have so much to thank God for. The last time Francis had his drunk was three men brought him home, and I don't know who the men was, I've never seen him in my life. But they brought Francis home, and I lived in the basement department at that time. And they brought him in, and I never seen Francis like it in my life until this night. He was watering to his mouth, and his eyes were rolling back, and I had one door in the basement at the time. And when Francis was drinking, I guarantee you I was pregnant out of him. I got the pain in my stomach, and I say, well, this could be the end of me, because he was a bad man, I'm telling you. Very, very bad. The reason I'm telling you is to could help somebody else that's going through this. So the two men brought me over the doorstep and they laid him down and they said, that's the fire that's going to go. And I said, Lord, you heard what the men said, that's the fire that's going to go. But I said, Lord, he's my husband and I love him and you know that I love him, Lord. And the two of the three men left and I went along and his eyes were going back and he said, and he was trying to remember, he said, is that you, Betty? And I said, yes, that's me. And I took a pain in my stomach and I hung him lying on his old piece of orange carpet I had. And he looked up again and the eyes began to roll. And I looked at him and I said, Lord, in the name of Jesus, bring Francis on his dead bed, Lord, because I'm going to the end of my ropes and I can't take anything else. And the two girls, they was absolutely pregnant after father. They brought next door and they said, Mom, why don't you leave him, Mom? Why do you stay with Dad? But the reason I stayed with her dad because I loved him from the bottom of my heart. And when Jesus Christ cleaned up my life, he placed love there for my husband. And I love my husband. I'm so thankful that I stayed and I kept my marriage together. When I looked around, I said to a, a Christian woman today, we went to Point Limited, and I said, Michelle could have been somewhere, Denise could have been somewhere else. But I said, now I know where my two girls so I'm thankful for what Jesus has done into my life and what he's done for Francis. He's also baptized Francis with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I mean, I am nothing. I'm not ashamed to tell it. I never had to grab the clothes to wear on my back. When I wanted to go to church to get saved, I had to go up to my next door and even the bummer dress. That's how bad I was. But you can look at my clothes today. It's not still, thank God. And the same thing for my husband. What he had, he saw. He sold for booze. The booze just took his life over completely. But Jesus Christ cleaned up his life. And I'm so thankful. And I want friends to say, I don't know what the Lord does for others, but I know what he did for me. Thank God for saving me.